Well, I mean, there isn't much to have to do here. Just sort of thank everyone who's been on this live stream for the past 24 hours. Thank you to all of our speakers um, and everyone who put time in across the course of today, but also all the run up to uh, today's proceedings. Um, we will be ending uh, by about midday, uh, but of course, International Microorganism Day is not over. So I hope wherever you are, you are celebrating as best as you can. Um, and you can use the hashtag International Microorganism Day, all one word, um, and we will collect and see as many of your tweets as we can. I mean, we do have a few stats we can show people uh, just to see where we are uh, with the day. So I will share my screen and we'll run through a couple things and then I'll let everyone else say their piece. Um, so, yeah, in terms of how the hashtag's being used, I have a nice little graph here. Can you see this? Yep. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. great. So, um, I mean, the day isn't over, so we'll have to have a little review of these stats again once International Microorganism Day is over in every part of the world. We're kind of midway through it, I guess, in uh, in in parts of the world. I guess we've just begun in Europe. We're nearing noon, so we're kind of halfway through the day. Um, but you can kind of see that there's been like a little buzz uh, about IMD all year long, but it's really been in the last month that everything has got, uh, you know, up on the social media streams. And then obviously there's been a massive spike uh, yesterday and today, and we just have to see how that continues. We're already at 5 million impressions, uh, and we'll just see how that number changes over the course of um, the remainder of the day. Um, if we look at the website, I really love this. Uh, piece of analytics because it shows you how international International Microorganism Day really is. So this is uh, from this year and yeah we can see that all of these countries with grey or dark grey have had some involvement um, hitting every continent on the world. Big places seem to be India and America or the United States of America of interest but you know Europe split up into lots of different countries so it wouldn't all go to one data point but we have so many people here coming in from Spain and France uh, North West and South and East Africa too, Oceania East Asia down to South America as well so people from everywhere coming to the website um, if we go back one more and have a look at the analytics for traffic I always prefer daily there we go we can see that again Lots of nice traffic over the year, but it's really been in the last week and in the last couple of days that tons of people are flooding to the website. Um, already at, you know, 15,000 unique visitors, 30,000 page views, really loads of great traffic there as well. So hopefully in the next few years, we can fill in all the countries in the map that we didn't have, um, but really pleased with everyone's uh, enjoyment and effort from across the world this year. Um, let me just bring us all back into the gallery view. I mean, oh, we have Isabel joining us, so let's admit her to the room just to tidy up some things. So, Ben, you did the night shift this year again, trooper. Well done. Uh, how did that all go? I mean, I got to, I got, I was watching it probably until about midnight and then started again at six a.m. So, how were the bits in between? It was good. Uh, someone asked me, someone said, uh, you must be tired. I think I'm, at some point I must have had a bit of a dip and I kind of looked tired, but then uh, I kind of came came uh, over the other it's side. And it was, uh, yeah, it's actually, um, it's kind of nice, I think, because, um, I mean, you obviously don't normally do a night shift working in the jobs that we do. And so I found that I was engaging a lot more with people in America, especially as you kind of see that Twitter then kind of takes off. Uh, and you, so you kind of see people tweeting and talking uh, in completely different groups and, and different time zones I'm used to. And that was uh, that was kind of nice. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's lots of talks, I think. So doing the night shift, it's like it's like with everyone, you know, this is a 24 hour marathon. Like, so you, you miss a lot, really, because yeah. there's always something going on. If you go to get a cup of coffee, you're kind of missing something. So I appreciated seeing the night shift, but it meant that you also miss stuff during the day. How was the microbial arts and crafts session? Because this one really piqued my interest, but for us it was at like three, four in the morning, so I was asleep. Uh, how did that session go? It seemed to be full of different people and lots of cool things. Yeah, it was great. So there were two two presenters, and they were kind of presenting different workshops that were pre-recorded, 
Uh, and so, yeah, I don't remember how many there were, but there were lots and, and very varied kind of ideas for stuff that you could do. So I was kind of at the end of that, I was kind of, like, oh, I've got to try one of these because we'll try a few of them because they seem so easy to get started. And there was one even um, doing crochet with a pattern that they gave to everyone. So they gave it out so you could actually download it and do it yourself. But then there was, you know, kind of microbial paints and, you know, kind of doing digital illustrations to explain your science and there was a lot of that. There was a lot of like, here's some arts and crafts and then sneaking in the the science as well. It was very, very well done. Like, um, very yeah, nice. It's, it's really good. Yeah. And Isabel, you've joined, you've joined us. How are the, how's the parallel session in Portugal going? Oh, you're muted. We just have to unmute you. I'm sorry. No worries. It's going very well. Uh, well, we have different sessions, not just one. Mm. Uh, I was uh, in the session organized by my institution, Instituto Biotécnico Universidade de Lisboa, uh, and by uh, the Institute for Bioengineering and Biosciences. And uh, it, it was nice because we had uh, uh, some students from, uh, uh, well, 15, 16 year students, well, a uh, whole class, because they are now uh, starting classes uh, here in Portugal. So it was nice. Yeah. And Wonderful. it's going on. So it's I like just to come here. <laughs> so, how much longer does it go on for? When does it continue until? It will be uh, uh, in the morning, all morning, and it will continue in the afternoon. But yeah. it, it will duplicate. So the idea is just to have students uh, in the morning and other classes uh, in the afternoon. Okay, great. Well, good luck. Hope it all goes very well. Um, so how are you going to be celebrating International Microorganism Day? What's What are you looking forward to as your celebratory moment? Are, are you asking me? Yeah. No. Ah, okay. Well... <laughs> well, I think that, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm really pleased, I, I have yeah. to say, uh, just to see that five years after the first edition uh, in Portugal, uh, just in Portugal, all the day has become a celebration of microbiology uh, at a global level. So you have contributed a lot. Uh, FAMS, FAMS office, the science communication sector, uh, yourself, and uh, all the members of the, the science communication sector. Uh, and uh, well, I only have to, to thank also the speakers. Yeah. Because they were generous uh, contributing to these 24 hours of microbiology online. And I think that, uh, well, microbiology and the microorganisms deserve it. Even the bad, the bad microorganisms, because we have to deal with them. So we have to study microbiology and understand their behavior. So uh, I, I'm really pleased. Thank you. Thank you to the fans and to, to, to you that uh, it's safe during all night. Well, taking thank you. care of it's these 24 hours of my we, we can all say it's been great fun. Uh, and we'll have to come back maybe next year, but we'll have a think. But the other thing <laughs> is all of these videos will be edited and turned into YouTube videos and placed in a giant archive. So we'll have another giant archive of videos again for like last year. Um, I guess there isn't that much more to say. I was going to say, Claudia, what has been your favorite moments in the past live stream? Um, so I think this year we got a good balance of quite scientific talks and uh, talks related to microbiology, but not really scientific talks. So we had uh, the women in science, we had arts and crafts, we we had one of my favorites was the Benning Singletons, which is an initiative we, that I didn't know before. Oh, I really and, enjoyed that one. Yeah. Yeah, it was really nice. And even now I'm in contact with them. So it was a and it was a great session. It's not just the initiative. All the speakers were really fun explaining their research. Uh, so that was one of my favorite moments in the night. In the day, of course, I enjoyed the East uh, session. It's related to my work, so kind of <laughs> <laughs> obvious answer. But I think uh, it was a great marathon. Uh, I think we are improving. Now we, we have a setup and everything there at uh, 
in the Netherlands. So we are improving, I think. For sure. I mean, I I know we had a few technical problems, but I really enjoyed Ben the live vineyard and the live brewery tours. It was so fun to just jump into a location somewhere on earth and have them run us around their brewery and their vineyard. And maybe we can try and get, you know, a bit more technology involved and maybe even more on the ground live uh, demonstrations of different places in the world. I think that would be so good. Yeah, I think so. So I think it works. I think this this thing with a camera phone that you can just take wherever and you're kind of used to it now. Like I to explain so it's like doing a, a FaceTime call with your family and you're just used to this format. So as soon as you're there, you're transported and it feels kind of familiar and you can take them everywhere anywhere. You know, you can you know, yeah, you could drop it anywhere in the world and we could see something yeah. that's happening right at that moment. Well, so I hope next yeah. year we can organize lots of events in person, right, in different places in the world yeah. and have lots of, you know, soapbox science and talks and live yeah. talks. But if we could connect them all up with a big live stream that was jumping from physical location to physical yeah. location, I think that would be the next step. It would yeah. be yeah. super. That would be so great, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. Eleni, I was going to ask, what's control, your favorite Controlling part? the pandemic. Yeah, be... we've got to just see how it goes in yeah. the next 12 months. Uh, Eleni, what was your favorite part of the live stream? Um, I guess my favorite part was just realizing all the effort that, that we've uh, that we've done putting into the program actually coming into life and actually seeing that um, that we brought up so many scientists from all across the globe into 24 hours crash course of microbiology as I would like to say um, it's just yeah it was just amazing seeing all the people and you know also because of the pandemic it allowed us you know I I'm just so happy that I was able to bring so many people in contact and start so many nice initiatives because of International Microorganism Day and I hope that these continue to go to go through in the future Awesome. Yeah. And it is also the, the sort of like relationships you build on putting together this initiative is so much fun. And then you have, you know, all these email conversations for six months and then bang, they're just on the screen and you actually see them in real life and you see where they are in real world, in the real world. I think that's really cool. Um, and we've just added a whole, you know, another list of people to the uh, International Microorganism Day message. So I guess that's it really. Well, I think we can finish up here. Uh, well done to everyone for all your hard work and all of your speaking and all of your involvement. And uh, we hope now we've printed some of these hoodies and t-shirts to get some of them out to everyone out there um, and see uh, if we can get the IMD logo across the world. Um, thank you, Isabel, for starting the initiative. Thank you so much. We've had so much fun getting on board and playing with it. Thank you, Claudia, as well, well for all your work. A lot of people from Portugal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And uh, thanks, Ben, as well, for your heroic night shift and all the technical work. And thanks, Eleni, as well, for your sessions. It's been really good fun. And, uh, yeah, we'll have to see you again next year. Rest of International Microorganism Day is still to go. So uh, drink some fermented yeast byproduct on us. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you again next year.